that I've heard helping me out and everything. You know, I was going to sue you guys. I'm just telling you what happened to me at a similar sort of time when I was at school, that's all. And it worked? No. I got beaten to a pulp and expelled. <laughs> right, that's great. Thanks. See you around. What are you doing out of class, Jeffrey? I was looking for you, sir. What for? I wonder if we could talk privately. Why would I want to do that? Don't you think we need to settle this? Look, Jeffries, I'm the one who's in charge of this school, not you. Why on earth should I listen to anything you've got to say? Look, I know you can't keep the whole school on Saturday detention indefinitely. I know there's parents calling up all the time complaining. Now, with the parents and the students offside, I only take a couple of calls from the PNC to the Education Department, and bam, we have World War Three. What's your point? Well, it's up to you, but I think there's another way around it. I've got an idea and I'd like to talk to you about it. Are you sure you'd want to get back into teaching when you'd have to deal with this kind of thing? Well, it's these kind of controversies that keep you on your toes. Well, the Jeffrey's family are still full of surprises, that's for sure. I'd see Stan at Anzac Day services, but I didn't know anything about him. He kept pretty much to himself. Yeah, not like his grandson, though. Aiden's got too much to say. Well, yeah, I've never had any time for Aiden, but... Well, seeing this, uh, you know, it makes you think. Think about what? Well, I don't know, uh, But surely some of this stuff must have rubbed off from his grandfather? <laughs> like you and Rick, you mean? Yeah, well, you can laugh, but Moray seems to think there's something salvageable in the boy, and Roman seems to have time for him. I don't know, seeing this will... Maybe we've misjudged him. True, but it's in the paper you lost your cool and fired the first shot. Under extreme provocation. Oh. I'm sure the board will uh, take that into consideration. Jeffries, I don't need to bargain with you. I know that, sir. Isn't what I'm suggesting a win-win situation? A way to quickly, quietly put the issue to bed? I mean, you get what you want. I salvage some pride. Peace breaks out. Plus, you will look great in front of your bosses. Especially with the way you handle the media. You know, you're showing far more maturity than I'd ever give you credit for. <laughs> Perhaps I'm finally seeing the war hero's grandson beneath that brash exterior. So do we have a deal or what? What happened on the beach after the memorial service was a very serious incident. One for which Mr Jeffries has now accepted full responsibility. As a result of that mature decision, he's no longer facing expulsion. He will instead serve five Saturdays of detention and be on a good behaviour bond for the rest of the year. But the good news is that that releases the rest of you from any burden of punishment. Aidan's been feeling bad that you're all being punished for something which he alone instigated. And he's convinced me that you shouldn't be punished for something which he's responsible for. Despite the unacceptable actions which brought this situation about, I feel that Mr Jeffries is to be commended for his maturity. Maybe it'll get to his head and make him ten times worse. Hi. Hi. What can I get you? Um, you can serve Jeff first. Sure. Thanks. Uh, just a toasty and juice, thanks. Yep. How was school? Oh, a good one, but a crazy one. Aiden finally admitted to throwing the sand at the memorial service, and now the whole school's off this weekend's detention, so that's all right. All right. Well, grab a table, I'll bring it out to you. Thanks. How was the surf this morning? Good, yeah. I saw you down there with Aidan Jeffries. Yeah, that's right. You didn't have anything to do with this change of heart, did you? He's his own man. So you don't think he's such a bad guy after all? Oh, I don't know. If I had to call him anything, I'd say he's a ticking time bomb. Hey, sister. How are you feeling? I'm oh, just a bit tired. I think it's just because it's my oh, first day back on my... Feet. I might head upstairs and have a lie down. That's a good idea. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, Summer Bay Caravan Park. Yep, she's... Actually, she can't get... Okay. 
So, I'm so sorry, it's the Department of Education. They say it's urgent. No, that's all I need. I can tell them. No, no, I better take it. Hello, Sally Fletcher speaking. Oh, hi. How are you? Sorry, can um, could you repeat that? Can you contest the decision? It'd be a waste of time. Well, it's worth a try, isn't it? No, they've been very clever. The job that they've offered me is technically a promotion, but really it's a desk job. Never in my worst nightmares would I have ever imagined being removed as principal. How can they go? You've just come out of hospital. Yeah, well, that's part of the reason. They're worried that going back may be too much of a strain on me. And apparently head office is delighted in the swift and decisive way Martin Bartlett has dealt with the current crisis in my absence. So much so that they have appointed him as principal, effective immediately. It doesn't seem to me to be a good enough reason. Look, the regional director doesn't think that I'm a bad principal. Well, I should hope not. I mean, from what I've seen, the students adore you. Yeah, but apparently I like discipline. I just don't cut it. Yeah, and I, I agree. The last 12 months have been tumultuous. I, I can't argue with that. But it seems that I have acquired, quote, too much personal history at Summer Bay High to remain an effective principal, or, or teacher, even. The one even that you teach? No. Basically, if I want to remain within the education department, I have to accept this admin job. And then I mean having to leave Summer Bay. Yeah. She has a crush. I'm thinking of asking Roman out to dinner. The guy's hot. Will he say yes? Plus, she thinks her dirty little secrets are safe. But when he wakes up... He seems like he's desperate to tell me something. Will she get rid of him forever? I'm going to need some help in here. Tomorrow on Home and Away.